Hey everyone, it's Tragic, and today I'm buying a collection uh, from a guy who contacted me through eBay. Uh, says he is a viewer of the channel, and that he was a fervent EDH player, and he would like to try to sell his collection. And he's trying to get a thousand bucks for it, which is what we settled on. Um, he's all the way in the Netherlands, and he basically offered to include the shipping in that. So that was. Uh, kind of a hefty amount uh, I didn't want to pay extra so he threw that in so kind of made this a bit of a deal let's take a look at what we've got here uh, definitely see some EDH stuff here some commander decks hopefully they're loaded in uh, for my sake usually don't go for these kind of deals I look for the random buys from places like Goodwill where it doesn't seem like they know the cards well this is a player he knows the cards the thing I'm kind of banking on here is the difference in pricing between Europe and the USA. Looking at Card Market, uh, which is the European version of TCG Player, um, a lot of these cards trend a little lower um, when you convert a euro to a dollar. Um, they still seem lower than the dollar amount on cards here in the USA. So I'm kind of banking on that, and I'm going to be able to make my value back is essentially as a collection flip, and I'm hoping it'll be a good deal for both of us. We do see some things like Exquisite Blood right here, which is a great card. Uh, Teferi's Puzzle Box, some really interesting kind of commander cards. A lot of this stuff may be kind of considered bulk. Some of it might be in the $1 to $5 range, which here in the USA might be able to get a good buy list for them, where over in Europe maybe those kind of cards uh, don't bring as much value. Um, not sure why that is. The player base may be a little smaller. Um, everything's more expensive in the USA sometimes. So we're gonna get really into this and probably see if I can just flip this for buy list and uh, exceed what I paid and have a good time. Uh, we do have some kind of promo stuff. Hopefully there's a lot more stuff like this in here. I'm really taking a gamble on uh, this this guy. Sander is his name. He seems like a straight shooter, uh, but you can never really tell just based on some emails. Um, but he did what he said he would. He sent me cards after I paid him, so that's how commerce works, right? So the thing that intrigues me about collections is that um, they get left with uh, mystery um, that you can pick through and maybe find some treasure. And uh, to hear him tell it, like, this stuff has not really been, you know, picked or organized, and he hasn't sold a bunch of stuff out of it. Um, so we're going to see. Uh, he said it was about 20,000 cards. The the weight of the package leads me to believe it's more like 11,000. So I'm going to take that into consideration as well. Um, but he wished me Merry Christmas, so he must be an, a nice guy. And uh, let's take a look at this package and see how it goes. So I got this package now here in the shop. And as you can see, it got wrapped up nice and tight. Got some black plastic and some tape all around it which is great because it needed to make it all the way from the Netherlands to the US and A and to Tragic MTG. So uh, let's take a look and get into this thing, shall we? It's a big box. I'm gonna get a different stand for my camera. So let's see how it goes while I tear into it. It is wrapped in garbage bags and a ton of tape, which works for me. I was actually shocked at how quick it got here. Just a, less than a week over New Year's Day and Eve from Europe to the USA. So kudos to UPS. Kind of foil holistic wisdom, and rocks, nothing super big. So and that's what he did tell me. Wasn't so I got this package now here in the shop, and as you can see, it got wrapped up nice and tight. That. Got some black plastic looking and for like some a, tape all around it. Just a nice which is grind great it of a, to make it all the way from the here, Netherlands and to the U.S. Get and my a. value back. And so, deck boxes are usually a good sign. Let's so, take a look and see. Uh, let's take a look is and get into this thing, a, shall we? Full commander deck. There's a Rafika the Mini. Giant Adiphage. So there are Mythics and Rares in here. 
Cultivate, always good. Yeah, so again, these are not super blinged out or anything like that, and that's not what I was expecting, Yavamaya Co. So yeah, some kind of dollar, two dollar rares may uh, add up. It's a Devery Hive. Um, kind of hoping for um, yep, soul rings, so just sta commander staples like that, they do add up. Hydra Omnivore, so Forcer Crucifix, Kadamas, Swift Foot Boots, Glacial Fortress. So, this is all stuff you would expect to see in a um, commander deck. Murray's Wake, R Shards. See, there we go. That's a, a good kind of money card right there. So, hoping to see some good stuff uh kind of trend oh privileged position see there we got some little higher end stuff in there um i think there's plenty of hope for this yeah sappy eric's daughter yeah good stuff uh, i'm gonna have fun going through this and seeing uh what kind of value i can pull out and uh hopefully make my money back and then some and see how i do in the end all right everyone i'm ready to start going through this collection that came all the way from the netherlands and uh, as a collection flip, I'm going to try to maximize. So I'm actually going to scan at uh, buy list price to see what I'm actually going to be able to get um, if I just send this straight to a buy list here in America. Um, my thought is that the prices are en enough difference, higher hopefully in my favor uh, here in America, that it'll be worth my while to achieve my... Uh, payment of a thousand bucks um, So here we go um, I think I'm gonna take anything under 25 cents off and uh, Let those count anything above that count towards my goal Na na na. So here's a rare holistic wisdom from Odyssey. There, as a rare, 983 for the buy list. So that's our first pickable card. Very nice condition. I'll probably throw a sleeve on it. All the rest of these are na, meaning the buy list is too low. Um, so they're not really going to count. But these will go into my bulk foil box. 220 for an Odyssey land just on the buy list. That's pretty solid. There we go. Ramos. Dragon Engine from Commander 2017. Seven bucks for a buy list, so that's solid. And, oh, there's a Rhystic Study. 1284. So we are on our way. Maelstrom Archangel. 12.43 on the buy list for a Maelstrom Archangel in light play. There you go.
Command Beacon. 1245, right? Elspeth Suns Champion from Theros. Seven bucks, that's good. Marari's Wake, Commander. There we go, 1145. Hey, an Aura Shard, so there's another good one. There you go, nine bucks or so for that. Privileged position, Ravnica. There you go, seven bucks there. Baneslayer Angel of Mythic. Eight bucks for a Baneslayer Angel. There we go. In this box, here's a Gristle Brand, a Grand Prix version. Very nice. Um, got a little edge problem there. Still pretty decent and four bucks for that. Nice foil. There's a Ziri, Claw of Progress. Yeah, there we go. Eight bucks for a Ziri. Karlov of the Ghost Council. He's eight bucks there. Spirit Advisor. Seeing some play. Seven forty-three for a foil damping sphere. Very nice. Couple bucks. Karthus. 15 bucks for Karthus, Tyrant of Jun. This might be one of the better cards we've found so far. Burgeoning, that might be a little bit. Yeah, 723 for Burgeoning. Whenever an opponent plays a land, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield, that's solid. A Thracios, Triton Hero. There we go, 10 bucks for Thrasios, the Merfolk Wizard. Wound Reflection, there we go. At the end of each turn, each opponent loses life equal to the life he or she lost this turn. Yeah, that's a good one. 12.54. Very nice. Arachnogenesis. 6.50 for Arachnogenesis. 
put out some spider tokens. Una. Queen of the Fae. That's a pretty good card. Yep. 785. That's good. Molder Slug. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, this is an interesting foreign card. Food Chain, right? Um, so it would be worth quite a bit, actually. Now I have to put it into my um, non-English pile and see what I can get for it. If I can even get it to scan, yeah. So Food Chain would be $27.80 in English. And uh, I like light, light play, but as a German card, I'd have to basically throw it on eBay and hope someone gives me maybe half of that or so. That's so going to go into a different pile. Oh, that's interesting. Psychosis Crawler and an Anvil of Bow Garden. That's decent. Crawler, an Anvil from Visions. Pretty good condition. Um, hopefully over five bucks. Yeah, there we go. Eight seventy-three. So that's our current show-off card. There we go. Hey, squandered resources. So there's a reserve list rare from Visions in pretty nice condition, actually. Let's see if it's worth anything. There you go, eight bucks there. So that's um, kind of interesting. Two Visions cards are our best right now. Ooh, a foil copy enchantment. I think we'd. I'd found copy enchantments before that were non-foil. They're actually pretty good. So let's see what a foil goes for. 
Yeah, six bucks on the buy list for a regular one. A foil copy enchantment is ten fifty. Thought vessel. There we go, five fifty for a common. That's not bad. Ooh, the chain veil. Hey, that's pretty decent. M15. Mythic. Oops, only got one of them, but there's a $9 buy list card right there. I'll put it over here. Illusionist Bracer. Oh, an Isochron Scepter. So that's good. And an Isochron Scepter is pretty good too. So that can go there. Mana Echoes. That's a pretty decent card right here. Got some light play to it. <sighs> Buy list is 1863. I think that might be the best. Well, the best non-English, or the best English card I found. So I got a uh, food chain and a mana echoes is kind of my big winners right now. Repercussion. Whenever a creature's dealt damage, repercussion deals that much damage to that creature's controller. Hmm. Eight bucks for repercussion. Not bad. Where's his destiny? Rare. It just got left. It was good condition, too. I might be missing a few. Balthor the Defiled is a rare. It's actually $8.50 on the buy list. That's pretty decent. The Legend. Uh, yeah, it must be a good commander. There it is, right there. Ooh, Obnixilis. The Fallen. The Mythic. There you go, seven bucks on Obnixilis. Passing in flames, all right, that's decent. Yeah, 450, let's see this commander version. Six bucks, so that's solid. What 
did they put in the rubber bands? Anything better than the loose stuff? Let's find out. Balefire Dragon. Excellent. Well, that's a pretty good one to try to get out of there. So five, almost six bucks for Balefire Dragon. Mythic got left behind. That's decent for me. An insurrection. 552. Got an old card coming up. It looks like a Legends or an Antiquities or probably the Dark. I'm guessing the Dark. So I got a Jeering Instigator. Wins a change actually from Legends. Wow. That's actually interesting. It's not super expensive, but it might make five bucks on the buy list. Hey, there we go. Ten bucks. Wins a change. That's solid. <clears throat> Better than a card from the dark, honestly. Crater of Behemoth. Oh, well that's really good for this pile of bulk right here. That's awesome. Very cool. It's light, probably moderate play, yeah. 24 bucks. There's a, there's a keeper. Dread. All right, that's okay. And a Golgari Thug. Here we go. Dread is five bucks. And a Golgari Thug. Not a lot anymore. That's interesting. That is a Italian Legends. Uh, what does that say? Is that Underworld Dreams? Underworld Dreams this is not an arena promo. So, if it was, if it was an actual English Legends, it'd be thirty bucks. But it's um, Italian, so it's quite a bit less. But I'm gonna keep it. But I'm gonna take it off the list. There we go. Hokori Dust Drinker, five bucks and pretty good shape. And the Yare is a reserve list and it's not a great card. This was shown, I think, in the pictures that he sent me. And that's pretty good. 662. Lifeline from Urza Saga is a reserve list card and is I think about ready to go up in price a bit maybe so 589 right now this is um, they're saying pretty good with the new big monster card from uh, Theros Beyond Death so we'll be keeping an eye on that one the gateways okay insurrection uh, we had seen before, I think it's about like that. Words of Wind. 
Five bucks for Words of Wind. Very nice. File Smasher. File Smasher the Fierce. 841. Omnath. Wow, Locus of Mana. Let's see how much he is. Not too shabby for a World Wake Mythic. Very nice. Yep, 585 for Sterling Grove. So this was another one that was, I think, in the pictures that he showed me. So it's a good one. 17 bucks on a buy list. Asceticism. Six bucks. Very nice. Chroma's Memorial. Well, we better scan that one right now. Yep, 15 bucks. Let's change the edition. It's the M13. Almost 15 bucks for a Chroma's Memorial, and that one's in good shape. There we go. Counterspell. Oh, Aristic Study. Great. Well, let's do that one too. Yep, it was like a lot. 15 bucks, I think. Thousand Year Elixir. Six seventy one for a buy list price. This one is not in good shape, but there it is. Ink Eyes, I think this one is uh, pretty decent. It's in okay shape. Plane Chase. Actually the different version. It's just a regular plane chase. Yep, six fifty eight, so there's the pile for that one. Pre-release Sword of Cauldra. Very cool looking. There we go, five bucks. For a very nice looking sword. Love the Mirrodin logo and the foil there. Sign in Blood, Supreme Verdict, very nice. Yeah, okay, it's, it's okay, it's like light play. Yeah, 11 bucks. Well, let's check the return to Ravnica. Yep, 11. There we go. Read the bones. Hey, and an Empress Galena. Another pretty good card. Um, get some play. All this stuff is pretty... Played a little bit. $6. Okay. Last deck box. It's another commander deck. The Ur Dragon is our commander for this deck. Cool sleeves. All right, let's uh, let's check it out. The Ur Dragon from Commander Twenty Anthologies. I don't know what it is actually. Commander Twenty Seventeen. Five bucks there. Are better than you would think. Harold's Horn. I think actually might be one of those. It ends up being a lot more than you would think for just an uncommon. I think it's this might be its only printing. Let's see. Yep, other than it's in the mystery booster packs, but um, as apparently a pretty good commander card, it costs quite a bit. So there you go. A couple bucks, Marari's Wake, from Judgment. It's a good card. Creatures you control get 1 1. And what else does it do for 11 bucks? Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana to your mana pool of any type that land produced. So, buff your creatures and get a bunch of ramp. It's awesome. Patriarch's Bidding. Wow, eleven ninety nine. 
Each player chooses a creature type. Each player returns all creature cards of a type chosen this way from his or her graveyard to play. You have to work around that probably, but I guess it's good. Dragon Tempest. Oh my gosh, look at That's a dragon you want to see in a dragon deck, right? Dragon Tempest. Skitherix, the Blight Dragon. Great condition, too. 19 bucks. That's the buy list price on it. Very, very, very solid. 1257, Kindred Discovery. As Kindred Discovery enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Whenever a creature you control the chosen type enters the battlefield or attacks, draw a card. Hmm, are we going to name dragons with this card right here? Very cool. Vettelkin Orrery. You may play non-land cards anytime you can play an instant. Solid. Very solid indeed. 20 bucks. A little light play to it. That's a good one. Hellkite okay, Overlord. There you go. Five bucks for an Overlord. Alright everybody, here's the results, sort of. I started taking off cards that were under 25 cents, but then I realized that I'm going to still try to buy list a lot of that stuff. Um, Card Kingdom can be a little different than TCG Player. Um, so many of those cards, they may actually take them for more than nothing, more than 2 cents, 10 cents, 15 cents, you never know. So I'm going to try to use that file to actually maximize my value. Um, and so uh, roughly about 500 of those cards were under 25 cents and averaged out a lot of them were didn't even show a value So I'm gonna knock off about 50 bucks from that total. So let's say it's about 1370 um, Is what my total buy list Approximate price would be many of the very good cards that came out of this collection. were in really good condition. So um, I'm hopeful that all told, when I buy list this stuff, I'll only get a 10 to 15 percent reduction on um, condition. Um, I'm actually going to run a lot of this stuff through Cardsphere or eBay and try to maximize value before I just send it off to the buy list. Um, it's how you play the game, right? So I've got a big box of um, bulk rares, and bulk cards are actually going to go for more than nothing. So that uh, adds a lot of value as well. Um, had fun doing it and uh, it was quite an experience um, there it is <laughs> that's it so hopefully you enjoyed watching it um, make sure to comment down below let me know what you think and catch you on the next one